Hello, I just wanted to make a video of my wind turbine uh, that I recently installed on the roof of my garage. Now, I guess a couple of things to note here right off the bat is uh, I live in a city and uh, that's about as high as they'd let me put it. Uh, it happens to be about 10 feet off the peak of the garage roof. The garage is probably about 13 or 14 feet. And uh, you see the, the tree next to it there is uh, much higher than the wind turbine itself. And, uh, per the instruction manual, you're supposed to have the wind turbine mounted about 20 feet higher than uh, its highest obstacle that would be, you know, around it. So, I did not install this wind turbine uh, per the instruction manual because of uh, the, the city ordinances here. I uh, do have a pretty nice windy day, and I guess I just wanted to shed some light on the performance of this particular wind turbine. This is a 600 watt Sunforce wind turbine. You need a minimum wind of 12 miles per hour to get about, uh, oh, maybe 50 or 60 watts. And then uh, if you have a 30 mile per hour constant wind, you'll get the full 600 watts then. Here we are up in the attic of my garage, and this is really where the, uh, the system, or the wind turbine system, uh, all kind of comes together. So uh, I'm going to go through each piece of equipment here. Uh, the wiring from the wind turbine comes in. Uh, through that little piece of conduit. A uh, total of four wires, a ground, and uh, three wires from the wind turbine itself. Uh, now those are actually, the, the wind turbine actually creates an AC power. So what you have right here is the uh, maximum power point uh, controller. And uh, the wires back there, on uh, I guess the flat wires, uh, those come from the wind turbine right into the controller and this controller rectifies the AC signal and then converts it into a DC signal which uh, by the red and the black wire there go and directly connect to the two 12 volt batteries that are mounted in series. Uh, each battery has 100 amp hour capacity. Uh, when they're in series you'll still only get 100 amp hours out of them but you will step up to the 24 volts rather than 12 volts. So that's really the charging side. Now the, the twisted wires over here just go to the, the brake, which I'll uh, show that a little bit later uh, near my control panel. All right, so we basically have the, the wind turbine charging system figured out. Now what we have is the inverter. This is a 2,000 watt pure sign inverter. And you can see it's connected to the batteries with the very large cables. Uh, there we go. So the very large cables, because that would be a large amperage, feed uh, the inverter and then the inverter takes the 24 volt DC and inverts it into an AC uh, current that's typical for your household. So, you know, 120 volt, 60 hertz AC. And that's really what you see here on the, the yellow wire coming out of the inverter. So that's the, the overall system. Uh, that essentially powers the garage, uh, at least on windy days. Um, and I'm going to go down and show you the control panel now. And you can see the instrumentation that I have. It's not done yet, but, um, you know, I guess starting on top, that's the uh, remote inverter control. And then moving down on the far left is you have the safety brake. I have a voltmeter set up so we can measure how many volts are uh, the the battery system is up to uh, right now 24.6 um, and then of course the DC charge amps and then the the voltage test port that you see on the far right so um, when I get a gust you'll actually see the charge amps uh, go up and you'll you'll also see the uh, voltage go up as well and so hopefully I can capture a few examples uh, on video of when I get uh, really good, uh, really good gusts come through. Uh, right now, I'm actually powering my whole garage off of the alternative energy system. I have uh, two 12 volt batteries in series that uh, are are basically going through the inverter and powering my garage door opener and a couple ancillary lights. So that's pretty much all the system can support. Uh, and every now and then, when we get days that aren't very windy, I actually have to switch back over to grid power. So my, my system isn't quite balanced to the load, but uh, it's pretty close. And uh, if I were to add a solar panel or something to supplement, then I'm sure I could 
uh, definitely handle all the load of the garage. So uh, it doesn't look like we're going to get a, a good example here uh, of a wind gust, but I'll get a couple of them and, and patch them in on the video. Well, here we are on a very windy day, and I hope to get a gust. I think we got one coming on here right now. Wow, there it is, uh, 16 amps and 27.27 volts. Uh, that's uh, about 436 watts right there uh, for that moment. I hope you enjoyed this video.